Feelings of awe have always been associated with feelings of spirituality or religion. It's hard to be an atheist when you're looking at the Grand Canyon. One of the reasons awe is so powerfully spiritual is because, first of all, it makes us feel small, and second of all, it makes us question how the thing that's making us feel that way came to be in the first place. A new study in psychological science tried to apply the scientific method to that very unscientific phenomenon and found a creative way to do it. All of the subjects in the study were shown one of four videos. The first was a 1959 interview with Mike Wallace. There are very few of us then in this world, by your standards, who are worthy of love. Uh, unfortunately, yes. The second was a nature show with images and footage of animals behaving in funny or silly ways. The third were awe-inspiring scenes of nature from a BBC documentary. And the last were surreal images of, say, waterfalls flowing down city streets. Consistently, subjects who had seen the awe-inspiring or surreal videos had a greater sense of a universe that unfolds according to a master plan and had a lower tolerance for ambiguity and uncertainty. As a control, subjects were also asked to look at a series of randomly generated ones and twos and to decide on a scale of one to ten how likely it was that the numbers had been organized either randomly by a computer or intentionally by a human being. Once again, people who had experienced awe were likelier to conclude that a human being had organized the numbers, the sense again being that there must be some designer behind the plan. The question naturally arises, of course, that if seeing things that cause you to experience awe make you seek answers, couldn't looking at space simply make you want to be an astronomer or looking at the Grand Canyon make you want to be a geologist? And the answer is maybe, but the scientists aren't so sure. The sense of uncertainty awe elicits, they believe, simply is not satisfied by the laws of the universe.